Hi everyone, I am Sheikh Irfan and this is my new channel SAP is my life and in this video I am going to explain how to access the 810 quality server generally what happened uh, those who are going to practice uh, SAP they will use only 800 client 800 client it is nothing but development server they will do the config all the configuration and they will uh, save the, all the uh, configurations uh, uh, into one tier and they don't know how to uh, activate this uh, quality server in 810 and in real time what happened exactly generally in real time scenario uh, real time all the configuration and customization is going to uh, done in a development server and uh, uh, consultant will more cop copy the changes into unit test client unit test client is nothing but a consultant will uh, uh, test this uh, set configuration settings and once it's uh, he is confident then he will move the uh, changes to quality server in this quality server once uh, it's moved to the quality server he will uh, he will test the all the scenarios with the client and if client is satisfied with the testing and if the result is uh, coming positive then he will take a UTS sign off and he will move the all the changes to production system so so in this video I am going to explain the how to activate the quality server and this will be useful to uh, those who are uh, learning uh, uh, practice practicing SAP in IDS server first of all I just want to tell you all this IDS is stands by international demonstration education system so in this page I will show you how to how to access the 810 quality server in client uh, we need to mention 810 here and here we need to give SAP star and here uh, here we need to give 06 060 and hit on enter button then now system will take you inside Uh, it's loading see system take us into new new screen inside now here we have to use the T code SU01 to create the user ID here I am giving SAPQ and I'm going to click on the create button it's saying it's already exists so I am using here one two SAPQ one two I'm using the same here and we have we need to give the password for this on enter and save see user sapq12 created so let's come out from the screen so here i'm going to give 810 sapq12 password It's again asking for change the password. See, you can see here, eight ten client, eight ten. So, 
this is the trick to access the item client now I will show you now in 800 client I will create a uh, one company code using a OX02 and I will uh, create the one TR and I will copy this TR to this uh, 810 client you can see how the changes are coming from 800 to 810 see here giving 800 this so now we are in 800 client so I'm using OX02 to create company code new entries here I'm giving HOND Honda Honda, next Hyderabad, country India, currency INR, language English, and I'm selecting here. See, it's asking for new tier. I'm going to create the tier. Copying this the data is saved in on TR and here I am going to 810 client here you can see 810 client and I will show you OX02 just so now we are in 810 client now I'm going to use OX02 here you can see here my Honda Honda company is it's not there in this list uh, where you can see here H O N D A. Hero Honda Private Limited. It's not there. Now I'm going to copy the TR which we have saved in that Excel in 810 client. This is 800 and this is 810. Now here I'm going to use slash n scc1. Enter. immediately yes so you can see here program runs successfully so we go to the OX02 and we'll check whether our changes are moved or not see here Honda you can see here Honda Hyderabad India INR this is a 10 server client so hope you guys understood this this logic if you like this video please do subscribe my channel and like this video and if you want to do particular video please mention your comments on your big on comment box thanks for watching this video bye bye we'll meet next